Everybody wants to know, what is the difference between Mini Lad and Pyro Cynical? They're both British, I think. I don't know, Mini Lad might be Irish or something. But they're both some kind of foreign, I, I guess, uh, of short. So, so what, what is the difference? They, they got the same hair color. They, well, I, I look, alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna stop clowning around for a second. <laughs> We're gonna get to the main point. Because, yes, there is a freaking difference between these two. The key difference here is that Craig, or Mini Lad, actually does this thing, this this really, really dumb thing, which is really, really dumb, and I don't know why he would ever think of doing this and think it's okay. He he does this baiting thing. Now, we're not going to call it what it what it is, because, you know, the, for the sake of, of this video, we're just going to call it uh, Yeetus Deletus baiting. So, Yeetus Deletus baiting as you can see here in the screenshot that I'm going to post up in the screen for you, this is what was the nail in the coffin, and this kind of basically goes ahead and shows you why Craigie Boy here is an absolute piece of shit. Notice that in Pyro's responses or anything relating to Pyro, Pyro never resorted to this. Pyro never indicated that he was going to eat this deletus, but that the possibility is there at any time for anybody. Craig, on the other hand, over here, Craigie Weggy, decided to use it to help himself from being quote-unquote exposed. Now to his actual video. I think this is where I'm gonna have a Keemstar moment and actually wonder why the hell it has a positive like-to-dislike ratio. It just goes to show you that everything is how it seems, although I do have a theory as to why this is, and so did my cute little pup, Augie. Most of the people watching the Mini Lad videos are just kids. And they don't really care about this stuff. And Craig is basically manipulating them here. Pulling the whole I'm sorry I will be better trick and how he wants the best for his friends. This however completely contradicts his demeanor in this screenshot released by a YouTuber named Cabos. As you can see I was catching this on my cute little pup Augie stream. So courtesy and props to him right here pulling up the tweet in question where Craigie Weggy seems to think that people will just forget and that the wheels will continue to turn. Now this is very, very, very snaky and assholish behavior. The, the one thing I hate, the one thing I dislike most about Craigie Weggy's approach here is that he's going ahead and he's saying this behind the scenes but he doesn't have the balls to say it to people, right? To, to the general audience. That's what pisses me off and what makes this guy even, even worse if you didn't think he was shit already before. Now, the accusations for this guy range from sending and receiving pics to and from minors. Y you know, that, that kind of crap. It, it's, it's, it's f fucking disgusting, mate. What are you thinking? His apology shit. If you want to go ahead and see it for yourself, just go, go ahead and see it. Uh, again, it has a positive like to dislike ratio. I already described why I think that is the case. We can do mental gymnastics about this shit for days. And I'm sure some people will. But I think this is a pretty open and shut case. Based on the two pieces of evidence presented to you right here, ladies and gentlemen. We can tell that Craigy Wiggy is full of shitty witty. We could also tell that we shouldn't take him at face value. And the big difference is here. This is not a gray area case like it is with Pyro. This is open and shut. You shouldn't have been doing this, mate. It's fucked, and you being smug behind the scenes but not willing to be smug to your audience and trying to play the victim and then trying to look like you care about other people is what really, really hammers the point in that nobody should believe your apology. 